My girlfriend spoke at her ex's funeral, telling the crowd how much she loved him and that if they didn't break up, their family would be happy. While she grieved, I packed my stuff in a box and left. Now, the only way for them to have their happily ever after is if she boxed herself up six feet under. My girlfriend and I have been together for about four years. She used to be close friends with her ex. However, he tried to make a move on her while she and I were together, so she cut off their friendship. They knew each other for about 10 years. They were high school sweethearts, and they stayed together throughout college. They broke up because he did not want kids. He died recently, and my girlfriend was invited to the funeral. While I wasn't happy, so to speak, to see my girlfriend cry about this guy, I swallowed my emotions and offered my full support. She asked me to come with her. Here's where things get messy. She kept talking about how she wishes they never broke up in the first place and that she'd never met someone who she loved as much as him. She made a speech about how she says that if things had been different, they'd be a happy family with children. I had to force myself not to say anything then. Now, we're back home, and she hasn't said anything about what she said. I'm so close to just leaving, but I just don't know if she only said that out of grief. Update 1. It's been a stressful couple of days, and my post got a lot more attention than I expected. It was overwhelming, to be honest. It's been a week since the funeral itself, and I've been talking to some friends as well as reading comments on my last post. Truth be told, I've been hesitant to talk about this with my girlfriend because she's still depressed. She's not talking to me at all, and I've been taking care of everything around our place. She's just been lying in our bed. I've tried to talk to her, but she just shuts me out. I've been reflecting on our past relationship and have realized a couple things. My girlfriend was never as passionate about me as she was about her ex. She never did anything as romantic or thoughtful for me when compared to her ex. For example, she's never gone traveling for more than three days with me, but she traveled often with her ex, sometimes for years. It's not like I haven't offered. I was simply told to get over it and that each relationship is different, and people said stuff like, if she wanted to be with her ex, she would be. Something else to note is that some of you actually pointed my attention to another post, one that's about a girl going to her ex's funeral. I read the post, and I don't know if it's actually my girlfriend or not. Some details are different, like our age. We're both 30. Also, I never said anything about breaking up with her for going to the funeral. I wasn't exactly happy to see her mourn the guy who wanted to sleep with her while she was with me, but I didn't actually say anything. Now, that post admits that she actually cheated. I thought about this for a second, but it doesn't matter. Because if she had cheated or not, I would have already broken up with her, I did have a talk with her. She refused at first by not responding to me, but when I told her I was leaving, she finally said something to me. I basically told her that I feel like crap ever since she said those things at the funeral. I feel like she would rather be with her ex than me. I felt like her second choice. She started to yell at me. She's calling me selfish and saying that she's lost one of the most important people in her life, and I shouldn't make this about me. I was too tired to try to yell back. My things were already packed up. I'm staying with my parents for a while. Our lease doesn't expire for a few months, so I don't know what she's planning to do. I don't know what to do now. I thought I was going to marry this girl someday and have kids, but she wanted someone else all this time. Update 2. It's the day before Valentine's, and I had actually planned something for my girlfriend before this whole mess started. I can't help but think of her. Our shared friend group didn't side with anyone. They have been supportive of both of us, it seems. I've explained to them why we broke up. And they were all pretty understanding. My friend and his girlfriend are friends with both of us, and I've asked them about my ex. Apparently, she hasn't been doing well. She's back to work after taking like two weeks off work. Besides that, she hasn't been out of the apartment. She hasn't tried to reach me, and I haven't tried to reach her. Our lease expires next month, so I don't know what she's planning to do. She could afford the rent on her own, but she'd be scraping by. I've been tempted to reach out. I hated breaking up, but I hate even more how we broke up. It feels like I left her behind when she needed me the most. If she reacted like this to anyone else, I'd be there for her, no questions asked. But I know better. I know I'd be resentful because she still wants her ex over me. Update 3. She finally reached out. I came back from work to my folks place, and she was there. My mom let her wait for me. While I'm upset with my mom for letting her in and not giving me a heads up, that's another issue. When I came back, my mom went to the store to give us some privacy. I was a mess inside, but I held it in. She asked how I was and what I'd been up to. And we talked as if we were just catching up. I finally asked what exactly she wanted. She said she's sorry for what she did and regrets how things ended between us. She went on to say that she did genuinely love me, and she did want to start a family, but the sudden death of her ex simply hit her too hard. She says she's sorry for what she said and that she didn't mean it. I didn't say anything and was just trying to process what was going on. She didn't actually ask me to get back together. I told her that no matter what she said now, I couldn't forget what she said at the funeral and how she acted afterwards. She said she understood and just wanted to talk to me. I told her that I don't think we can be friends and that I don't hate her, but I just don't want to be near her. She left, and I was left a wreck. She seems to be okay. She looked healthier than the last time I saw her. I'm actually moving out of my folks place, and I'm not going to tell her. I'm going to make sure my parents don't say anything. I hope that was the last time I saw her, at least for a long time. Oh, and one quick thing I wanted to mention. My name is off the lease at our old place, and the landlady was very understanding. 